Welcome back everybody. It's time to lock down some more four color popper slivers and it looks like we've got a I'm gonna mulligan this one. This is too many lands for once too many lands for once um, bah, mm. Well We got some colors, so we'll 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 keep we'll keep um, not the greatest, but it's fine uh, We'll just dump one of these and we'll say done and we'll see what database error is playing with here today. Uh, Windscarred Craig. Okay. All right. All right. There's going to be some interesting new shifts in the uh, in the popper landscape with the new um, Caladem release, I think. So uh, in the upcoming weeks, I don't know when you can get cards yet. Maybe you can. Mm -hmm. I was late with the Thriving Groves. Wow, my phone's going off. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and call Blue with this. Just get it out of the way. And uh, we got our forest, so that's good. It's fine. All our mana's fine. They want to not play a lot. Interesting. Grim Initiates. Hmm. What is this? All right. Another Sidewinder. Interesting. 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 All right. Well, we're going to play our planes. And don't really want to do much. I guess we could just do a winding way, try to get set up. Uh, I don't really want to discard the hand size, but I don't really feel like having the awkwardness. That's fine. This is good. We'll take a turn to do this. Got a lord, got a gem hide. We'll start getting things going pretty soon here. Oh, this is the Boros equipment deck. Okay. Interesting. And they got champion, which isn't great for us. Not great. Swing in there for one. Why not? Or don't. I don't. I don't personally care. Getting in for one. There we go. All right. Let's see what we can pull into here. Another Lord. All right. That's fine. So I think we're just going to get down a Sidewinder, get down a gem. And start setting up to just like empty our hand out next turn, but we're gonna take some damage, unfortunately. This is where they start powering up their champion. That goes on to this guy though. Okay. But they can equip it. Yep. Alright, so they got a 4 4 trample. Not great. It's not great, but again. We're going to take a few hits here before we can stabilize. Hopefully. Hopefully. This is making its rounds. So what new... Is this new equipment that they got? What is this from? Can't recognize the symbol. Um, I feel like they must have got some new, some new stuff to play around with. And that's why this deck is kind of starting to see more play. We get an island. Interesting start. Let's just get stuff down. Did I do this wrong? Maybe. I think we're fine. This is fine. We'll just go like this. Um, could have swung in there, but I think I'd rather keep stuff back in case I do want to or need to block. They got a lot of mana now to really do some stuff potentially. So, All right. Flare Husk. And they can equip it. So, he's about to be real big, huh? No gem, but we have a 7-7 seven, seven coming at us. I'm going to take it this turn. Because there's potential that we could... Could almost kill them? Let's see. If we get a lord here... We're not quite there, hmm. It's fine, though. We're just going to try to leave up as many troops as possible. That is another lord. Not bad. Not bad. I wonder if I should try to dig for, like, a first strike or something. Hmm. I wonder. Let's go ahead and play our lord out. Alright, let me just see here where we're at with everything. So, we're about to get flying... We can swing for, let's see, 8, 16, 20. We're so close, actually. 
The trample is what's worrying me. Because we could try to hit him for a bunch. Leave back a couple people just to absorb as much damage as possible. Yeah, I think I kind of want to do that, actually. They're not going to expect this. We'll have two blockers up. And we'll just try to chump block as much as we can and hope to not die. They can swing with these guys, but uh, we're just going to want to double block on this. And then hopefully just uh, finish them off on the swing back. Land is good. That's big. Does that do it for him? 10-10. We can absorb six of that, or eight of that, sorry, eight of that. We can absorb eight. One, two, three, so they can't kill us here. Okay. Dump these down. Say okay. Do they have an extra pump? Oh, they probably have a pump, do they? No. Okay. Or do they? Are they waiting? No. All right. Cool. Do they have a follow-up blocker? I think we did it. That that surprise attack wing sliver, man. It's so good. It feels so good to just go ahead, go over everybody's head. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, they could have like a lightning bolt. They could have a lightning strike or something to just kill us down like that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's, that was scary. That was scary. But uh, all right, we got it. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else they can do. Cool. Close game. Close game. It's always kind of sketchy playing against them, but I think we did it right. I think we're going to get loan because I think the life gain will be kind of important to a degree. Uh, Gleeful seems pretty good. <sighs> hmm. I kind of want Prismatic too, but I don't want to cut too much here. Um, want to keep in striking. Uh... Sidewinder I don't think is as important in this matchup because it's just going to be one big creature which our flanking probably won't impact too much. Well, we can leave a couple in but I don't think we need all four in this matchup. Maybe I'm wrong in that assumption but we'll see. Alright we'll cut one winding way. Oh, what else do I need to cut here? Could cut a heart. Uh, I kind of do want the striking though. I guess we could get rid of heart it's not extremely relevant could be really good though but i think the life gain is more important i think i like this this seems reasonable to me i'm gonna try out the lone missionary see how that helps us out here good old four life gain no lands <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're either flooded out first game or we're freaking just dry on the second. Okay, Mulligan. Oh man, I can't keep this either, can I? I don't know if I can keep... Mm, he'll keep us alive a little bit, so... I just cut the lead. Ugh. I cut... Okay, so I cut the lead... I can drop a sinew and I can drop a loan, gain us some extra life, hopefully draw us into another. None of this is great though. I think I'll, I just don't want to make a mistake like last week. I think this is more reasonable since we're only keeping two cards that are green uh, over the last time where we just kept like a handful of green and one playable. Uh, so I'll keep and we'll dump lead, keep the rest. I think there could be an argument to maybe keep the lead and, like, dump a muscle. Maybe dump a muscle, keep your gem hide. That way you can lead off. Uh-oh. Oh. I thought he skipped through his turn without playing for a second. All right. Plus two for each. Okay. Trample. Trample boy. And Thriving Grove. Perfect. All right. Our mana set up. Uh, everything else is fine. So I'm going to call red here just in case since we got the island in hand. Pass it back to him, and hopefully not get scorched too hard here. Faithless looting. They're running the fa- Okay, wow. I'm posting it, man. I don't know why you wanted to do the faithless looting, but uh, uh, let me see what our card draw would have been. So, Thriving Grove, 
we would have uh, pulled into a muscle next turn. We were probably just going to play uh, Sinew or one of our lords. Let's see what else we are getting here. Plated. I think we I think we, we were drawing a lot of lords, actually. I think we would have been just fine. Wow, my phone is loud. Sorry about that. Discord's going off. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to post this one because uh, that was a good first game. And I think we took advantage of some really sketchy positions. Maybe played on the edge a little bit too much. But, uh, you know, you can't always play safe with Sliver. So if you enjoyed that, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. I appreciate the support. And we will see you guys in the next video.